So I've got two Dysons here. They were both free, donated to me by a very good friend, Ryan. Hello to Ryan if you're watching this. So let's look over them. Both are obviously Dysons. This is a DC-14, what's it? Oh, HEPA. So it must have a HEPA filter in it. This one didn't have any tools, but then I found this while I was tidying up. So I thought, ah, that can go in there. And you can very clearly tell it has no tools because that, yes, it's clearly been used uh, without an attachment. This one has the upholstery tool, which I, it wasn't on there, it was on somewhere on there, but I thought I'd put it there to stop it falling off. I did, however, speak to Ryan, and he says he has the other attachment, he's going to give me that soon. So, that one will be complete shortly. They both run, plugged them in this morning. So we'll have a look at the 14 first, move the... DC 40 out of the way. Apparently nothing wrong with this apart from the hose has a problem and indeed you can see the hose looks just a bit distorted from here. It's a bit dark, sorry I'm not putting the flash on though. You'll see that from here the hose looks a bit distorted but in actual fact uh, it's ripped. And uh, if we take this out, you know, it doesn't really want to come out. Can I actually get the hose out? Anyway, I've got plenty of spare hoses. This one's a bit grubby anyway. Nothing that a good wash won't fix. I'll see if I have another wand. Don't really want to sell it. Or it might be going to a family member, this one. I don't really want to sell it like that. So, I might try and find another wand for it in my stash. I think I have one, actually. Well, I've got several, but I think I have one that's the right colour. Is Oh, cable. Damage to the cable. That's just been run over by somebody using it and then my camera's not really focusing there we go so yeah again cables nothing serious let's look at the the part where the magic happens wow it is full now before we judge how disgusting it is apparently this was used in the pub apparently ryan's family used to run a pub so that's probably why it's a bit good and wow that needs cleaned but actually not the worst I've had. I was thinking of a DC-14 recently that I had. But it was really smelly and ugh, I couldn't be bothered clean it. I won't try and wrestle this off on camera. However, the filter's not even that bad. It's white, not totally black, which is always a bonus. Let's uh, turn it over. And you'll see we have a grey base plate and a brush roll, which... I think might be all right. It looks a bit worn. Again, I probably have a spare, and if not, it's hardly an expensive thing to to put on it. The plan for this video is I'm gonna attach a video on the end of them running, just by on camera to plug it in, switch it on, blah blah blah. This one apparently there's nothing wrong with this one. Apparently though, well there's something must might be something wrong. He says once you clean it out, it's fine. Use it a few times, and it loses suction. To me, it looks fairly clean. There's a bit of grass in it. Don't know what's been going on there. I think it's in very clean condition generally, and it's nice and clean in here. Filter looks clean. Yeah, it all looks pretty clean. The biggest thing with this, when I tried it this morning, the brush hole works. Wow! Most of these you get, the brush hole does not work. Let's take the flex off and have a look at the hose. Yeah, it's really dark for this video, I'm sorry, but what can I do? I've got LEDs, but they're clearly not good enough. I'd say the hose looks to be intact. Let's see how beaten up the end of the wand is, if I can get this upholstery tool off. There it is, it's a bit stiff. Right, I'd say it's a bit stiff because it's the tiniest wee bit worn. But after I clean, I'll actually put this in the right slope. It was in that slot, which isn't the right slot, should go in that one. So yeah, hopefully we get the brush to go with it and it'll be nice and complete. Again, I don't, I was thinking my auntie's, well there's a bit of it left here, there. My auntie's Electrolux Vitesse has broken after about 10 years. And I said, well I can try and find you something. So, perhaps one of these will go. The only other thing I can see wrong with it is... The little piece of plastic there, it's not fully broken, but it's fractured on either side. So it's a wee bit wobbly, however it doesn't go all the way over like some of them do. 
a post motor filter. I can't show you that one because you've got to get a screwdriver and everything, but I'll show you this one. It's nice and easy to take off. Again, it looks in very clean condition, so um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what's wrong with it. I will say, when I tried both of them this morning, they both have rubbish suction, so that looks a bit it's slightly dingy, but actually nice and clean. It's not smothered in fluff as they usually seem to be. And if we can get this on, it's going in nice and easily this time. So, yeah. I'll probably film them on this old rug that I happen to have handily here. Yeah, that runs nice and smooth. While we're down here, brush roll looks alright. Again, I don't see what the huge hype over the Mark II versus the Mark I is, because to be fair, that brush roll's just the same. It's got stiff bristles on it. The wheel is intact, that's always a good thing. So perhaps it's blocked somewhere. That's what I was thinking, um, because the filter is obviously clean. When I tried this morning, yeah, the suction was rubbish. So perhaps it's blocked, but not, if you know what I mean, not blocked fully that it's causing all the suction to drop off. We'll wait and see. That one, it's probably the filter being so crusty, it's probably stopping the suction. So anyway, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit dark, sorry. But anyway, I wanted to get this video done, so I just did it here. Thanks for watching, you will now see them both running. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Blame me, says that that brush roll's gonna take off. Sounds healthy, but the suction is me. Anyway, that's it from me. Forgot to tell you, this one is 2012, well, manufactured in 2012, and the other one's 2000.